I love taking people where they've never been before. I brainwash myself into looking at somebody and going, wow, just think how good they could be. And that person looking at themselves probably sees the mistakes and talks about their shortcomings. Um, so I, I think that we don't reach our potential because we don't look up, we look back and we make sure we don't make mistakes. I think the first thing to remember is when you when you're looking at top athletes, um, because of the way the media um, uh, kind of produ produces it, what you don't see are the mistakes, the angst in training, the amount of hours. It's a bit like the iceberg. You just see the top of the iceberg, but you don't see everything else. So I think that sometimes people are in awe of top athletes. And to an extent, I can understand that. But they need to understand, um, if I said you've got um, uh, an elite attitude, it means you're somebody that is totally committed to doing the best they can and constantly improving. And, and that's essentially athletes have to do because obviously, you know, people run faster or go longer or, or, or whatever. So it's a constant improvement on previous self and and i think that's one thing that i think that people in business uh they're not kind to themselves when they do actually make progress and do get better they don't do anything about it they're almost just pleased that i didn't make any mistakes and i find that that is so prevalent among businesses don't make mistakes rather than trying to achieve and, and I think that curtails a, a lot of potential. That's really good, actually, because um, I think uh, burnout is, I, I think if you keep mentally refreshing, um, one of the things that I found is that um, uh, I, I've done several um, companies I've done Aston Martin and Mercedes and and I've actually used the tool of um, management by affirmation and the first thing that I do is ask them sit them down and said okay tell me what you what you're really good at and and it's like getting blood out of a stone because people aren't used to actually gosh yeah I'm good at this and so on so I think part of the thing about burnout is constantly reinforce what's good and what you've achieved and when things don't go to plan think of it as oh i didn't match my intention now i need to do it differently rather than i made a, a dramatic mistake here i'm going to be in trouble blah 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 and consequence because i think that right next to burnout is negative avoidance so as you get tired, you, oh, I don't want to make a mistake, rather than actually, I can do this, and you're refreshed with your own competencies, and you really have a go at it. I think that if you're under five, maybe four and a half, I don't think there are very many mental barriers. Um, and, I, and I'll explain that in that um, when you when somebody is young and exploring, if you look at it, they're full of excitement about learning. And if it doesn't go quite right, they're, they're kind of nonplus about it. And when it does go right, then they get excited and really, really celebrate and want to show mummy and daddy and all that kind of stuff. OK, somewhere between that beautiful age for learning and taking challenges wherever they are we then get to a stage where um i know what i'm not good at um there are some things i'm just not going to do because i feel so embarrassed because i'm so bad and i don't want to make mistakes and and that is the very thing that stops them reaching their potential you, you, when you i i have these 
things that I call green arrows, um, where I'm always firing green arrows. And the first thing I try and say to anybody is what's going well. I really like, so if I'm working with a golfer, all right, and they've hit a shot and it goes uh, really way out to the right for a right-hander, I want to find something that's right first. Gee, your stance is fantastic. I love the way that you transferred your weight. Now let's just look at the club face and see if we can do it slightly differently. Rather than going straight into the mistake, because what will happen is I then start, oh, I don't want to make a mistake again. And the negative avoidance, sadly, for all sorts of reasons, and I don't think social media helps, um, is, is, the, is the real thing that stops people uh, reaching their potential. I, I really do. And my, if you ask me why am I still coaching, it's because I love taking people where they've never been before. I, I really do believe I, I, I've, I've brainwashed myself into looking at somebody and going, wow, just think how good they could be. And that person looking at themselves probably sees the mistakes and talks about their shortcomings. Um, so I, I think that we don't reach our potential because we don't look up, we look back and we make sure we don't make mistakes. I would like to, to get them to understand the power of language. Um, and, and even if they just say, right, whatever happens now, I'm not going to use any more deletions. In other words, I'm never going to ask somebody to not do something. I'm going to ask them to do something that makes what I want them to avoid to be impossible. Just getting that right. I mean, there's a great saying, you know, I, I say to people, okay, right, from now on, um, I want you to, uh, nobody now must talk about or think about a green elephant. And that is the most stupid, ridiculous thing I can say. Because if I ask you, you must not think about it, I'll then say to you, so what must you not think about? And you go, the green elephant. So you've remembered it. You haven't forgotten it. So, it, you know, deletions don't, and yet we do it all the time. When we're under pressure, we ask people to not do something. Coaching in particular is, is pretty bad, particularly when in a tense environment. We ask people to not do something instead of just taking a split second to work out, okay, I don't want you to do that, but what is it that I want you to do? And that's the important thing. The brain is a productive tool. It's not a deletion tool. <music>